For this activity, all we need are Q-tips. Right now, I'm starting with just eight Q-tips. It may help for some people to have a designated area. You could use just a piece of paper and it can help to find an area that shows a child that that's their work area. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna use two washcloths. Um, this washcloth is my work area and these are my Q-tips. This is the other person's work area and these are their Q-tips. Having your defined work area also makes it clear whose items belong to who for the activity. Uh, sometimes kids want more items, so they might just take Q-tips, but this, this kind of helps define visually a little more concretely. You know, this is my play area, these are my items, those are yours, we each have some. Um, and in this case, we have the same amount. So sometimes I'll let them just start with, I'll say, oh, okay, I'll give you 30 seconds to build what you wanna make. You know, give them about 30 seconds. And then I, when it gets down to about, I'm ready to go, I'll say, okay, finish up, you're, put your last piece on, whatever they're doing, you know, three, two, one, all done. And, um, and then usually they'll stop. If they need another cue, you can, we're gonna stop for a minute, you can play more. But right now, I want us to play the game Match Me. For this game, I want you to match the shape I made. So I made a square. It, Kinda of hard to see because it's flat, so it didn't look like a perfect square. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see it. A square. Then you want them to match. Some people are able to do it really quick, easy. Some people might struggle more. You might notice the quality of the shape varies. So we can also, we can help. We want the corners to line up. We want the fuzzy parts at the ends of our Q-tips to line up. Ooh, here's a fuzzy part. I'm gonna make it touch here. They touch to make a corner. Hmm. Ooh, I like the way this corner is touching. We can label it and think of the cues. This one looks like right now it's kind of pointed up. Sliding lines. We want a straight line. This one's going straight across. And so this example where I started with four, you can see that while a square seems pretty simple, it can actually be, be kind of tricky to build in um, in in using items in a 2G physical form uh, for some kids. So for, well, for some people too. So um, maybe even to start with, you might just have two Q-tips. That is really a great starting place for most people. You might start with simple shapes like crossing lines and they might start with making theirs just oriented differently on their play mat. And, um, and you can kind of see after you do a few examples, the next one you might do like this, are they putting theirs facing like this or do they make it orient the same way? So then you can talk about that too. If they make it like this, you don't, we don't want to, to be negative about their work. We wanna more praise the positive aspects we want and then discuss or talk about aspects to change. We want to make observations about the things. So. Um, so here we could say, oh, I like how the Q-tips are touching in the corner. I like how they touch and they, they are perpendicular, which means that they're, they're not going in the same direction side to side, but one of them's going up and down and the other is going side to side. I like how they're touching. We want them to touch, but I wonder, can you help me make so one of yours is going side to side, just like the side of the washcloth here? And they might then make something like this. So then we'll want to cue, ah, you have the same shape. It looks like a mirror image in this case. And you could, you could point that out. You say, oh, it looks, I see the same going up and down. And this line is going across. You're right. It looks a lot alike. To make it the exact same, I'm going to move this one on mine. Now they look the same. If I put mine back, can you make yours look the same? And that way you're even showing them how to do the solution. Um, from two, you can increase to then using three Q-tips and so on. There's lots of different shapes you can come up with. Triangles, you could do intersecting lines. Um, maybe we could call this like a, what do you call it, cot? Or like a 
stool, a folding camp stool. Um, so it's another idea for a game. Have fun.